Upon arrival to your workstation, log into Enterprise. Step 2. Set your status to non-productive. In order to set your status to non-productive, click on the mailbox icon. Click on the drop-down menu on the toolbar. When you set your status to non-productive, you begin a time slip. You are on the clock and getting paid. Step 3. Check your calendar. Open the calendar to see what is on the calendar for today. So go to your toolbar and click on the calendar icon. Once I have set my status to non-productive, I need to look at my calendar for any time-specific appointments that I may have. Others may have scheduled something, or there could be something that I forgot that I put on there. I need to review my calendar to see what is scheduled and what I may need to prepare for. Once you know the outline of your day, then you can move over to the right side of the page. These are the tasks that you want to get done today. Some days you may have 40 things on this list because you want to make sure they come to your attention. Do a quick scan to process what you need to do for each task. Maybe you want to bump one item to a later date, but see that you need to do some training for an upcoming meeting. This is the place where you get your mind around what you have to get done and when. Construct productive daily habits. Brain is more than a task management software. It is a tool for communication as well. The way you process your tasks communicates with other employees whether or not you have seen the task, when you expect to complete the task, and what your workload is like, and what your workload is like. Upon arriving to your workstation every day, you will first log into Enterprise Once you're logged in, you will want to set your, you will want to set your status to non-productive. Now you're getting paid. The goal is to get out of non-productive as soon as possible. However, setting your status to non-productive allows you time to sort through tasks to prioritize your work. Go to your calendar to see what you have scheduled for the day. Remember other people have access to your calendar and can set appointments for you. Keep a close eye on your calendar. In order to access your calendar, click on the, click on the calendar icon on the toolbar. This allows you to see the meetings and times of appointments. Step 4. Process task. Step 4. Process your inbox. Processing your inbox means acknowledging every task and moving them to either the calendar, to specific days to do which is right next to the calendar, or my to-dos. Your goal is a red horizontal flag on your mailbox. You'll want to view your tasks at this point not for how to complete them but how to organize them. Each task will fall into one of the two following your each task will fall into one of the following categories. 
you can do it under two minutes or it will take you more than two minutes. Under two minute tasks, the rule to follow is to the rule to always follow when processing your inbox is if you can complete a task in under two minutes, do it now. It is imperative that you make a decision about every task. You have to determine if it is something you need to throw away, hold for later review, or save for reference. The way you complete your task is click on the task. This task asks if you can explain what system management logis logistics means. That is something that's going to take some time, so if you acknowledge that and think when you can get, that, get to that, maybe tomorrow, then press OK. If you go to your calendar and you look at tomorrow, this task is now on your to-do for tomorrow. Develop an outline for project maintenance. This task asks you to please outline this course including all the objectives, activities, and assessment. That is a huge project and is going to take a lot of time. So if you want to acknowledge it, go to your calendar You want to acknowledge it and just press OK. You don't want to put that onto a specific time because you're not sure when you're going to get to that. Now you go to My To Do's and here is that task. Go back to your inbox. How do I log into Cache? Hey Terry, can you send me the instructions on how I get into this program? You want to acknowledge that. Start your time slip because that's something you can do and reply. So this is a two minute under two minute ta this is an under two minute task. You have written what you think is the correct answer. You have assigned it to the person who sent it. You've already acknowledged it and started your time time slip on it, so you just press OK. And now if you want to check to see if Adam got that, then go here. Now go to your next task. Oh, this is old. We don't need that anymore. So just press delete and OK. If you want to know if Adam got that, we log into Adam's inbox and here is the task that I just sent him. So now we want to go back to Terry and go to our next task. Send Jana a response on if you're going to attend training next week on the SEO project. So hit reply. So we want to go to our next task. Send Jan a response if you're going to attend a training next week on the SEO project. I'm going to acknowledge this and start my time slip. This isn't going to take me very long. I want to hit reply. Type my note and say 
OK. I go to my next task. Develop a software that decodes grammatical errors, formal voice, and e essay format. That is not something that I can get to today, and I know I won't have time to even uh, think about getting that for another week. So I'm going to acknowledge this task. I'm going to set the time to the 15th, and I want to start my week with that. Um, so I'll say 8 a.m. I'll say 9 a.m. So I have set the date and time and I press OK. Now let's go to my calendar and here it is on the 15th I have set to start working on that project. I go back to my inbox okay. now I look at now I have processed through my inbox I don't I I have a red horizontal I have a red horizontal flag on my mailbox and my mailbox is empty on my calendar I can look at my month view and I can see what all I have to do I can go my, to my day view and see what I've put on my schedule for today if I go to my to do's I have a list of all of the things in my to do's if I want to work out of there and when you have just a few it doesn't really matter when you have a lot you'll want to put them over on your calendar so you know what you're going to work on for today in review Every day you want to log into Enterprise, set your status to non-productive, check your calendar for time-sensitive information about what you have on your calendar for today, and then you begin processing your inbox. You process into cat two categories. One, I can complete this in under two minutes and I do it now. Two this is going to take me longer than two minutes and I'm going to move it to one of my three places one I'm going to put it in on my calendar by by putting a date and a time on the task two I'm going to put it in my daily to do's by just putting it a date on it or three I'm going to move it into my to do's by not putting a date or a time on it